How's it going everyone, Jubilant here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Logitech steering wheel for BMNG Drive. Let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is head over to the G-Hub website, which I have linked in the description, then go ahead and download it. I already have it installed, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it. After you're done installing the app, it should look something like this. It should say connect your Logitech gear. Now we can go ahead and plug in our steering wheel. Our steering wheel should then load up on our app and it may ask you to install a firmware update so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. This red message will pop up at the bottom which just means you just had to unplug and then replug in your steering wheel. Your screen should now look like something like this and your steering wheel will be blinking in the middle. After the firmware update you can go ahead and X this out then your steering wheel will be right here. Go ahead and click on it, click on the steering wheel and change the center spring strength to zero. Now we can go ahead and open up BeamNG, click on options, go to controls, then click on vehicle. Your controls should be mapped, but if they're not, go ahead and click plus on the throttle, then actually press the throttle. Go ahead and click inverted access. When you push the pedal, it should be aligned with the output axis as you see on the screen. Go ahead and click apply when it's working properly and then do the same for all the other pedals. For buttons like the paddle shifters, the process is the same. Press the plus and then press the paddle. Be careful and make sure not to press any other buttons. Now for the age shifter. Mine is an aftermarket one and not the Logitech one, but the process is still the same. Shift it into gear and then bring it back to neutral. Once you finish mapping your buttons, we can move on to force feedback. Click plus, then turn your wheel. Now our steering wheel is mapped on force feedback. Go ahead and take a minute and copy down all the steps I do here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.